Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Ethernet errors. So we're going to look at how Ethernet is designed to detect errors and what action it takes when in fact it does detect an error. So we're going to look at an Ethernet frame. We'll start there and just take a brief look at a header and a trailer of an Ethernet frame and see how those fit into Ethernet's ability to detect errors. And then we're going to drill down a little bit and look at something called the FCS field. And we'll see what it is and how it works in order to enable error detection. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we want to talk about is error detection itself. So this is the process of determining if an Ethernet frame has been damaged or changed during transmission over the network. And there could be a couple causes of this. First, it could be an electrical interference, say a fluorescent light next to your UTP cable or a strong electric motor, perhaps. Or it could be the cable itself. Perhaps one or two pairs are damaged inside, so that's causing a problem in the signal. Or it could even be an interface on either side of the cable is damaged in some way, and that's causing problems in the transmission. Okay, so basically there is a problem in the signal, it's been altered in some way, and the frames are being changed accordingly. Okay, so let's take a look now at the header in the trailer. So this is an Ethernet frame. We have a header, the data portion, and a trailer. The header has various fields in it, such as the MAC source address, the MAC destination address, a type field, a length field. You may have heard of some of these. We're not going to drill too, too deeply into the header. We save that for another tutorial. So just know that it exists and it has quite a few more fields in it than the trailer. After the header and between the trailer is your actual data, the data you're looking to transmit over the network. So that's your data field. And then on the other side of the data field is your trailer. And this is what we're really interested in. The trailer only has one field in it, as opposed to the header, which has many. And this one field is known as the FCS field. And that stands for Frame Check Sequence. And we're interested in this field because it is the field used by Ethernet to actually detect the errors. So this is what we're going to focus on. But overall, here's your frame. And know that when it comes to Ethernet error detection, you're interested in the trailer and the FCS field in the trailer. So let's go ahead and actually look at how the FCS works. There are just a few steps in Ethernet error detection. So it starts off with the sender of the frame executing a mathematical function. And in order to run this function, it needs some kind of data to work with. So it uses actually the entire Ethernet frame as the input. And it runs the mathematical function using the frame as input and the result is stored in the FCS field. So this is similar to me running the mathematical function 1 plus 1 equals 2. Well, I store the result 2 in the FCS field, and my inputs are the numbers 1 and 1. So it's similar to that. I do that, and I send the frame on its way. The receiver receives the frame, and then it executes the same exact mathematical function that I ran, and uses the same frame as the input. So it's just going to repeat exactly what the sender did. And the result that the receiver gets should be the same as the sender. So it takes its results and it compares it to what it found in the FCS field. And remember, the sender populated the FCS field. So if the results match, if the receiver has the same results as what the sender came up with, we know that the frame was good and no errors exist because the mathematical function is the same on both sides. The only thing that could possibly change is the frame itself. And if it didn't change, then I should get the same results as the sender. However, if the receiver has different results after running the function, then it knows that something changed. And again, the only thing that changed is the frame. There must be an error. So then errors are determined to exist in that frame. And once that happens, Ethernet knows that it has to discard the frame. And that's the action it takes when errors exist. It simply discards it. Um, we can look at this in terms of me sending somebody a box of apples. Kind of a corny example, but I run a function on the box itself. It has four apples in it. And in the frame check sequence, I write the number four on the side of the box and I ship it. And then the receiver gets it, opens up the box, and runs the same addition function on the contents of the box. 
and it adds up the apples, and if they come up with four as well, we know everything's good. If they come up with a different number, something changed to those apples. Perhaps one got rotten and it, it just disappeared, so they only have three. Okay, it's, just, it's similar to that. Take note that when a frame is discarded, that's what Ethernet is designed to do. Ethernet is not designed to handle anything regarding retransmission of that frame if it's been discarded. It doesn't handle any of that. It just throws it away. You have to rely on other things like TCP in order to detect um, uh, problems in transmission and to retransmit. And so we cover T TCP in other tutorials. And that pretty much sums it up on how FCS and Ethernet error detection works. Let's just take a quick summary of what we went over. Okay, so we now know Ethernet is designed to detect errors in frames and when it does detect an error, it simply discards the frame. We took a look at the header and the trailer in an Ethernet frame, and we know that the FCS field is what we're interested in, in, interested in, and the FCS field lives in the trailer. Finally, we know that a mathematical function is run by both the sender and the receiver of the frame, and if the results match, then we know the frame is okay. If the, if the results do not match, then we know the frame is not okay, some errors now exist, and Ethernet discards the frame. And there you have it, that is Ethernet error detection. Thanks for watching.